Lord again, everybody. Thank you for being here today. I pray that the word is going to pour from today. Touch hearts. And someone asks, what must they do to be saved? In the name of Jesus. With that being said, preach the word, Minister McConnell. Praise the Lord. Come on, you can do better than that. Jesus. Any of you preachers ever, you go to go to go to a speaking engagement and you get all caught up in the Holy Ghost. And uh the, the song, the song service is good, the praise service is good, and you forget you the one that got to go and preach the word. My Lord. I was just thinking to myself, I said, Lord, Zach, you got another song for us? No, but uh, I thank God for it. I thank God for being here on the day. I thank God for my pastor, Pastor Barry Jones Sr. I give honor to the man of God. I give honor to the woman of God. We thank y'all on your 15th slash 16th. Yes, sir. I thank God for each and every one of you. I give praise unto my wife. I give praise unto each, unto each and every one of you, name by name, everybody that's here today on the day. So today, we're going to, uh, today, the, 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 uh, the theme for the day is, it's time for a change in the body of Christ. It's time for a change in the body of Christ. And the subtopic is let's go back to the old path. Uh, the the, 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 the uh, text is going to come from Proverbs 4, 11. And uh, to go back to the old path, you got to know what the old path is. You can't go back to something that you that you've never traveled. How do you go back to a road that you've never traveled before? So in order to go back to the old path, you must first know what the old path is. And based upon the word, my God, before I do anything else, say another word. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. My dear Heavenly Father, I thank you on today. I thank you, Father, for your praise. For God. I thank you, Father, we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, God. Lord, speak through me on today. Speak through this earth and vessel, God. Lord, make teaching, make preaching easy, God. Lord, help us to be good fertile ground, God. Lord, help us, God, to hide the word in our heart that we send out against you on today, God. Lord, have your way, and we'll be careful to give you the praise, Father. And I ask all these many blessings, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And all God's people said, amen. amen, 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 amen. Thank you. So in order, we've established that in order to go back to an old path, you must first know the old path. You must first know the old path. And for those of us that's been walking with Christ for a while, the woman of God was just saying, oh, I'm not tired yet. My Lord. You know, when I think about my pastor, I think about his wife. I think about ha, when I came in to Manor. I walked into Manor reeking of marijuana smoke. Dead in sin. And it hadn't been, you know, I was thinking as I was driving over here, when I came in to Manor, at the time, I was dead in sin, living in a living in living in an ungodly relationship, reeking of man. I, I, I still remember it, and I'm not glorifying on my past, but I still remember pulling up into the parking lot, being invited by my now wife. At the time, I don't know what to call this at the time. Because we weren't dating, we weren't fornicating. She was my friend. Yeah. And I pulled into the parking lot, getting ready to come in, and I was putting that putting that marijuana cigarette out. And I came in and I listened to the word. And the word pricked me in my heart. 
that when the man of God came and gave the altar call, God pricked me in my heart and I knew that it was time. I had to get up. I had to come to the altar. I had to ask God for his forgiveness. I had to repent. I had to repent. I had to repent. I had to repent. You see, and that's one of the things that have crept in. You don't have to repent no more. Uh oh. It's okay. Praise and worship leaders sleeping together. Homosexuals in the in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the in the choir. Huh? You don't have to repent anymore. But when I heard the word, I knew in my heart that I had to repent. Now, how did I know it? Because that's what the man of God told me. Hallelujah. He gave me what the word said. So I repented and I asked God for his forgiveness. I tarry for the Holy Ghost. I received the gift of the Holy Ghost with the stick, with the evidence of talking in tongues. And now, here I am on a blessed day. This right here, to be able to stand right here on today, it's one of the highlights of my life. It's one of the highlights of my life. Of course, my life. No, I'm sorry, baby. Being saved. You see, that's the that, that that's that's that was the best day of my life. Being saved. Then being married to my beautiful wife. I give her honor. She didn't give me no honor. No, so did I was waiting for my honor too. She didn't give me no honor, but I'm gonna give her some. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Hallelujah. Amen. And standing here right now, being able to preach the message on, on my pastor's anniversary is truly a blessing. And I'm going to get into the word. As I was preparing for this message, God led me to go back. And I went back to one of the messages that you preached. I want to say it was uh, 2011, the Prodigal Son. I went back. Because God put it on my heart to see what was then and what's now. Yeah. And I can testify that it has not changed. As I was listening to the word, he brought forth the word from the Bible. From the Bible. From the Bible. And as he preached, I could uh I, I I I went on to another video from that video and God put on my heart to observe what was going on, the praise and the worship. The praise and the worship has not changed. I looked into the crowds, and we're gonna get to the old path. But I looked into the crowd. And I know that God spoke to my heart because right now I know that somebody is going to receive what I'm saying. There are many people that was in those crowds that aren't sitting here today. Some of them started ministries. Some moved on to other ministries. Some went back Some went back. However, the word didn't change. The praise and worship didn't change. Our pastor hadn't changed. We late lady haven't changed. So somewhere down the line, and I'm moving on from that because I want to. I, I got to give what the Holy Ghost gave me. Somewhere down the line, in our walks with Christ, God became hot. I, I, I don't believe that God is pleased with everything that we call praise and worship. Everything that we call honoring Him. God cannot be pleased because it's not all biblically sound. It's not. It's not. 
It's not. I was telling the man of God that this past Wednesday I was watching a, 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 a preacher, a pastor. He's a pastor. And the pastor at this ministry uh, was given the announcement that they paid off their property. And as he gave that announcement, the musician began boom, 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 boom. And before you know it, he was, oh, it's really making. Oh, and I said, wow. I hit mute. And when I hit mute, I could not tell whether or not it was some worldly praise and worship, a concert, or a service in a church. The preachers feel like they can get up in skinny jeans and Jordans. And I don't have anything against Jordans, but I got to meet with skinny jeans. I got to meet with those. Because somewhere down the line, we got on. We got on. The body, in, 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 as a whole, I'm not talking about manner because, men, hallelujah, when I got saved, the man of God, I never forget. Deacon Glover, I came in, Deacon Glover, he, he said, uh, man of God, come up here and sit on the front row. And I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get ahead of my pastor. So I sat down, see this how I didn't talk about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost had told the man of God to come and tell me to sit on the front row. But I didn't want to get ahead of my pastor at the time, I was still a sinner. The Bible says it's better for you to be called to a certain seat than for you to go and take that seat and then you, you're told to move out of that seat. Paraphrase. Holy Ghost moved on the man of God. I sat down. It wasn't five minutes later. My pastor, he said, man, I'll come and sit on the front row. I didn't want to get outside of the will of God. That's the most important thing in my life. And to be standing right here I know I'm within the within the will of God. I didn't go to no school to become a preacher. I was filled with the Holy Ghost. God put a word in me. And when he put the word in me, hallelujah, he used my leadership to acknowledge it. And now I'm standing here on his anniversary, in her anniversary, preaching the word. So we're talking about going back to the old path. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 4, verse number 11. I can sit here and I can talk all I want to. Let's see what God got to say about it. Amen? Amen? It's the truth. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 11. Let's say amen when we get there. Amen. amen. It says, we're going to start at uh, verse 10. It says, Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the ways of wisdom. I have led thee in the right paths. Here it is. The, 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 the writer of Proverbs, Solomon, is saying that I've taught thee in the right way, in, in the way of wisdom. I've led thee in the right paths. So therefore, I just, I just, I got, I want to say this. Everything that is in this word is holy. It's holy. It is holy. It's not Methodist. It's not Presbyterian. It's not Catholic. It's holy. So everything that is in this Bible is built off of the foundation of what? Holiness. Amen? So, he said, I've, I've taught thee the, the way of wisdom. I led thee in the right paths. So, if we know that holiness is what this is all based on, holiness is supposed to be in the path that we're walking. Amen? Can we can we think presupp presuppositionally about that? Can we assume that? Amen? We can't throw away holiness. And that's one of the things that everything that is, is, is in the church, it's not holy. It's not holy. It's not holy. When you have people, our next scripture is going to come from uh, Psalms chapter 1. I mean, uh, Psalms, yeah, Psalms chapter 1. 
But everything that is in the church that is crept into the church is not holy. It's not. Amen. I'm going to ask my wife to help me with that. You, you, you got that? Bless it. What? Nor sit it in the seat of the scorn. Go ahead. And his law does he meditate day and night. Go ahead. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Go ahead. And bring it forth his fruit in his season. Yes. His leaf also shall not wither. Yes. And whatever, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. But what about the ungodly? The ungodly are not so. Yes. But are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Yes. Therefore, the shall not stand in the judgment. Yes. There are sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So here it is. The word is saying, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of ungodly, nor stand up in the way of sinners, nor sit up in the seat of the scornful. Now, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. That walketh not. Yes, come on. The Bible also says in, in Amos chapter 3, verse number 3, it says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? Amen, right. So here it is, we're seeing that we, the, 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 the godly and the ungodly, they cannot walk in the same paths. Right. They can't. Amen. They cannot. It, don't, it, it, it just, it, it does not work. It does not work. The Bible also says, let your good, let your good be not evil spoken of. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Famous chapter. Psalms 23. Amen? Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to walk to He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his, for his name's sake. So God, if if I'm in a, if, 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 if I walk into a congregation of people and the so-called prophetess want to lay hands on me, but my God, but you be everything that the, the clothes is so fit. No, you're not gonna lay your hands on me. And shouldn't no prophet be laying their hands on no woman who. It's, you got a spirit in you. It's a spirit in you. You cannot. And the sad part is that under the pretenses of being blessed, it's being preached unto the people that those things don't matter. That God don't look at the outside appearance. God only look, looks at the heart. No. Holiness goes beyond, it, it encompasses the entire person. Yes, right. So if you aren't adorned correctly, I know how we teach here at Manor, you got to come out of that. You got to come out of that. You can't come, you, you, you can't, no, you cannot get the, no. The world wants us to believe that that's judging. The Bible says that we ought to judge. As long as you don't have a beam in your eye. Once you take the beam out of your eye, you can see clearly to get the moat out of your brother's eye. Amen? So, somewhere down the line, under the pretense of blessings, we've gotten off path. And today, I come here today to, 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 to blow the trumpet. That's what the ministers ought to do. We are the light in the world. The light in the world. 
it, it, when, when, when we are on our jobs, when we are amongst the people, we are to be a road map, not to me, not to you, but to God. Amen. So when you get on the job and those brothers want to go to talking up under that sister's clothes, you are not to stand in that, in that, in that amongst that. You need to go and get a cup of coffee or get to work or do something. When those ladies are on that job and they want to talk about the the, 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 the supervisor who is a pastor, you not you not to stand. Mm -mm. It's time to go. You go get a cup of coffee or get to work. That's what you're paid to do. You could not just sit back and gossip. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. Somewhere down the line, we got off under the pretense of being blessed, the world has crept in. The world has crept in. But if we try to creep into the world, we can't even pray in school no more. We can't even read the Bible in school. If you go and stand on the corner right now and tell people repent, they're going to tell you, you judge. You can't go and creep into the world, but the world is creeping into the church. The world is creeping into the church. And the body of Christ has become as if we done went to sleep. When you see, I'm, I'm saying we on, as a whole. We wanna, we wanna, we wanna, we wanna hug up with the world, but we just wanna wanna dab a Christ on Sunday. We wanna hug up with the world yeah. and be hypocrite when you go and stand up in the pool pit and talk about preaching to somebody, yeah. huh? We got on. And today, I come to tell you that we it's time for us to get back on the right path. We can't fall asleep, saints. We ought to be the light in the world. Amen? Amen. Psalms chapter 1, 119. Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Amen. Amen. You got it, baby. Go ahead. Blessed are the undefiled in the way. I'm sorry. Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. Go ahead. Ch 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 Did I say Psalm, Psalm 19, 105, right? Okay, amen. I want to make sure I didn't mess up. You got it? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Hallelujah. And a light unto my path. Yes. I have sworn and I will perform it. Yes. That Amen. I will keep thy righteousness. Amen. It says the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So as we walk, we are to take the word. Who is the word? In the beginning was the word, and the word was what the word was with God, and the word was God. Amen. So the word is a light unto my feet. It's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Who? Jesus. So we don't put Jesus down throughout the week and then want to come hypocrite and then sit down somewhere. Have a seat. Several. That's what the word is. Have several seats. Sit, sit down and stand up and then sit down one more time. No. You want to put Jesus down and then come hypocrite up into the church. No. We must stay the path. We must stay the path. Hallelujah. We here to, 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 to celebrate 16 years. 16 years. Amen. 16 years. Now, how long you been saved? Oh, that's a good question. 86, 86. 86. 86. I'm 42. 38. Is that 38? 35. Amen. Good. Amen. Almost longer than my life span. Man of God walking the path. Man of God keeping the right, keeping the right way. Man of God letting the letting the word wash it. Man of God sitting up under the leadership who taught him not kicking against the brick, not talking against talking against the pastor, not raising up an amen corner, not going against what's being taught from the pulpit. Sixteen years of leading us, Hallelujah! How? Has every message 
Hallelujah. Has every message. Has every message that has come down your street and read your mail, have you been able to just say, hey, hey amen, hallelujah? Take your wealth, take your wealth and, 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 and uh, ha, ha, hallelujah. Or, or wait, or do you wait, hallelujah? Or do you wait until you're away from the church, hallelujah? And you get, hallelujah, you get with your wife. He was talking about me. No, he wasn't talking about you. The Holy Ghost was talking about you. The Holy Ghost see what you're doing. The Holy Ghost see it. Hallelujah. We must stay the right path. And we cannot allow one thing. Hallelujah. As I stand here tonight, this message, it came down my block first. Huh? Huh? Are you fasting how you supposed to? Are you reading the word every day daily? Are you in your prayer closet doing how you should do? Hallelujah. Are you treating your wife how you should? Are you raising your children the right way? Hallelujah. It's not just for you. It come down my block first. So I took my wealth and, 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 and hey, I'm standing here. I thank God for it. I thank God for it. Because I could easily be outside them doors. Yeah. Easily. Right. You hear me? Right. But I'm sitting here right now and I come I, I come to tell you that we must stay the right path. These aren't my words. They're Jesus' words and I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll show you because Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. These are not my words. This is what God the, 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 all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Amen. Amen. Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see. Wait, wait, wait. Stand where? Stand ye in the way. Stand in your house. Stand ye in the way. No, stand in your bedroom. In the way. Stand in your closet. In the way. No, it says stand anywhere else. In the way. That's what the word says. Go ahead. And see and ask for the old path. For what? The old path. No, the new. The old. No, the scriptures is nuanced. The old path. No, God changes. The old path. Stand, wait a minute, go in the old what? The old path. Go ahead. Where is the good way? And walk therein. And you what, 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 wait a minute. It says do, no, it, it don't say walk, it says stand. Walk therein. After you get filled with the Holy Ghost, you're supposed to sit down. Walk therein. No, you're supposed to wait on the devil. Walk therein. So if you're not walking with God, you're waiting on who? Amen. Mm -hmm. It says walk therein and... And you shall find rest for your soul. Hallelujah. But they said, we will not walk therein. Right. And also, I now, That's it, baby. I'm stopped. That's it. Thank you. All of that good stuff. Huh? It says, stand ye in the ways. Stand see. Ask for the old paths. Where well, is the good way? And walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. All that good stuff. But the last clause says, but they said, we will not walk therein. God has sent Jeremiah to go on to prophesy unto Israel, but Israel was being stiff-necked and hard-hearted and was set in their ways and they would not hearken unto the words of the man of God. So how much it, back then if that was going on, how much more today? When the word comes forward, oh, uh-uh, I ain't leaving my shack, daddy. The man of God said, Oh no, I ain't putting that liquor down. I'm still gonna smoke my cannabis. I'm gonna still do this. No, it says go stand in the way, and it says walk therein. Find the old path and walk therein. This word has withstood the test of time. 
Amen. And all of us that's standing here today that have a testimony of what we came from, we are testimonies unto the word standing the test of time. Amen. It's not new ones. It does not change. Don't let the best be more than to hear somebody say that the word is new ones. No, it's not. The word don't change. No, we do. We do. And I was listening to I'm going to tell you, I'm only going to know I like to see what's going on. I was listening to a deposition. And I'm going to tell you, by us not, I, I thank God for the man of God. He admonishes us to read this word here from Genesis to Revelation. Okay? And then by reading it, I know that when he brings forth the word, it is the word of God. The problem is that we don't want to read this. I'm listening to a deposition from this reprobate, reprobate so-called bishop. He done went and told, I'm just going to tell like it, the man, the, the man had some young lady, and because she was unlearned, he was able to pull the wool over her eyes. And she wasn't the only one. I won't call his name, but my God, you then took this woman who had been filled with the Holy Ghost into your office, told your wife not to be there. Number one, the, the, the teaching that we get here, hallelujah, that's a no-no right there. I still remember my pastor pulling me to the side when I had been filled with the Holy Ghost and got married. He said, man of God, ABC now, ABC. And I said, okay, A, 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 B, C, X, Y, Z. Yeah. They don't need to be going to specifics, but he said that. He said, A, B, C now. Right. You're full of the Holy Ghost. You're a man, man of God now. Right. Hallelujah. And he said, no, and I'm not the only one. I'm sure he didn't A, B, C, all you men. Yeah. But you can, you, because the woman was unlearned, she was taken advantage of. Bishop feel me all over. Then went and felt this woman all up. Yeah. That's because here, here it sounds funny, but it's the truth. Deposition. Only if you supposed to be a man of God. If it wasn't for the Holy Ghost, you know, I, I was telling my wife, I said, you know, God is a merciful God. Because I don't know why he don't have a lightning bolt with his name written on it. Unlearned. <laughs> we must stay in the path, walk therein, and hey, continue. Continue. When you get full of the Holy Ghost, or if you if you if you're seeking God for the Holy Ghost, don't get tired. The Bible says, "Be not weary in well doing." For you shall reap in due season if you faint not. Amen. That's right. Amen? Amen. So as we as we live this thing, you know, and, and I asked the man of God how long you've been saved because my God, I'm talking about a man. We're talking about a man of God that's been saved almost as long as I've been living. Jesus. You know, and the fruit of the ministry is standing right here. God help me. Help me. It's sitting right there. Jesus. Help me, Father. It's playing the drums. It's on the keyboard. Yeah. It's singing praise and worship. Come on, come on. Help me. It's got other ministries out there. Help me, Father, to continue. Amen? Amen. 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 So, Second Chronicles, and I promise I won't be I won't belabor the word. Second Chronicles 34 and 14. Under King Josiah, you know, uh, as you read in the Chronicles and the Kings, you see that there are many good kings. Josiah was one of them, and uh, he he took down the 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 the, the groves and uh, you know got things back on path. But there was a little bit that he didn't do that would cause the people to to not fully be delivered from their sin. Amen? And, you know, you see that 
with some of the ministries, uh, Chron Second Chronicles 34 and uh, verse 14, and I, I've got it. Uh, but the word says, the word says, uh, uh, verse 14, it says, and when they brought out the money that was brought into the house of the Lord, Hilkiah the priest found the book of the law given, the book of the law of the Lord given by Moses. So they found the book of the law and Hilkiah answered and said unto Shaphan and the scribe, I found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah delivered the book to Shaphan and Shaphan carried the book to the king and brought the king word back again saying, all that was committed to thy service, they do it. And they have gathered together the money that was found in the house of the Lord and have delivered it into the hand of the overseers. To, and to the hand of the workmen. Then Shaphan the scribe told the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest have given me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass when the king heard the words of the law that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded, and the king commanded Hilkiah and Ahikam, the son of Shaphan and Abdon, the son of Micah, and Shaphan the scribe and Azahiah. As 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 a, as I am, the servant of the king, saying, "Go inquire of the Lord for me, for them that are left. Go inquire of the Lord of me, and for them that are left in Israel and Judah concerning the words of the book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is poured out upon us, because our fathers have not kept the word of the law to do after all that is written in this book. And Hilkiah and they that were, that the king had appointed went to Hula." Hulda, the prophetess, wife of Shalom, the son of Tick. Okay, so they found the book. They found the book of the law. Amen? They ended up working, doing the work that the king had told them to do, and they found the book of the law. And when they read the book of the law, they took it to the king. And the king, when he heard the book, he read his clothes. And he, because he knew, he knew how they had gotten off. And the wrath of God was upon them. The wrath of God was upon him. And he rent his clothes. In, in, in that time to rent your clothes was to, was to signify mourning and being hurt. And knowing that you're outside of the will of God. If it was good for them then, how much better is it for us now to mourn? The Bible says, Ring your heart, not to garment. Ring your heart. Show that you're sorry. Come back. Repent. How? Hallelujah. You're going this way. When you realize that you this is well, I'm going, it's not gonna be fruitful. You turn around and you go back and you walk therein. That's God told Jeremiah. He said, Stand, hallelujah, in the way. He said, Seek the good path. Seek it and go in it and walk therein. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. You know, that we don't have to be in error. You know, if you're on your way to PA, you don't have to go to Grand Bay. If you see the signs, the road markers, if you have a GPS, this is our GPS. This is. This. Not me. Not pastor. Not even that lady. This. This. And you wouldn't you wouldn't have a young sister being 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 uh, uh misused by some preacher if you follow this. If you follow this. Amen? Amen. And so the Bible says that. When they heard the word, the king rent his clothes. And he said, hey, wait a minute. Go, go, go down and go, go in the street the Lord for me. Go and go, go and pray. Go and go, go, go find the prophetess. Go to her for me and for those that are in Israel. Not just for me, but for those that are in Israel. Hallelujah. So when as we as we continue to seek God's face. As we continue to pray and to fast and to seek his faith, we're not just seeking his faith for us. We're standing in the gap for those, hallelujah, that have gone astray. 
We're standing in that gap and believing God for those that have not been saved. Amen. 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 So we're not, hey, honey, it's not for us to get off. We, we, we can't get off of that path and say, well, oh, I'm just not going to fast no more. Oh, I'm just not going to pray no more. Oh, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm not going to be faithful no more. No, this thing that we, this this walk that we're on, the walk that the man of God has been on for 16, 15, 16 years, is a path that has been walked by faith. Not by sight. If we only walk by sight, some of us wouldn't be here tonight. We walk it by faith. Faith to God. I'm walking this walk not for me. I'm walking this walk for my household. I'm walking this walk for my mother. I'm walking this walk for my brother, for my sister, for God, hallelujah. I'm walking this walk. I'm on this path. I don't want to get off on the wrong tangents. I don't want to get off on the wrong way because I need to get a hold to God. I need to be able to talk to God. I don't need my prayers to be hitting the glass ceiling falling down. Hey, hallelujah. I'm believing God for salvation in my I'm believing God. Hallelujah. I'm believing God for so much. I'm believing God. I can't get off of this path. I got to walk it by faith. By faith, I got to walk this thing out. By faith. Hallelujah. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter 4. Amen. Amen. This is what the Holy Ghost brought. Amen. Amen. And it wasn't my, it, it wasn't my, look, it wasn't my topic. Yeah, when I got to, when I when 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 the woman of God, see, I tell you, the woman of God, God bless you. I was probably leaving church. She said, "Man of God, these gonna be the colors, and and this is gonna be the theme." And I said, "Oh, hallelujah, glory! I like it. I love it, sis." And and, and I'm thinking I'm gonna walk. She said, "Good, because you're gonna be the one bringing the word." <laughs> I said, "Lord, help, Jesus, help." But I thank God. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter four. four ch Chapter 4, verse 18. Amen? Amen. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon and Simon called Peter, mm -hmm. and Andrew, his brother, mm -hmm. casting a net into the sea. Yes. Well, they were fishers. Yes. And he said unto them, Follow me, and yes. I will make you fishers of men. Yes. And they straightway there left their net. Him. Amen. Amen. So as Jesus was walking along the way, he saw Simon. He saw Simon called Peter, Andrew his brother. They were fishermen. They were all doing their thing. They was on the boat bringing in fish. Jesus said, follow me. He didn't say, when you finish fishing, you know, when you finish doing what you're doing, just at some point catch up with me. No. He said, follow me. And when they when they heard it, they threw it up. Yeah, they dropped those nets and they went with him. Yeah. And they went with him and they did not stop. Yes, Peter, Peter, Peter had his moment. He had his moment. All the disciples, they, 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 they had their moments. Yes, Peter, he denied him. He denied him. But my God, after he denied him, he was he was restored. He was restored. Yes, he was restored. And Peter, my God, if Peter got a little bit weak, how much, how much, I mean, I'm nothing compared to Peter. But what I'm saying is that what Peter went through, what Peter did, that is to strengthen me. Because after he, hallelujah, after Jesus, after Jesus had saw he had denied him, he came back and he said, you know what, he said, hey, he, 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 he told me as uh, I forget what book it was but they were writing and he said go and tell Peter too he said go and tell Peter too he said bring, go, go tell Peter too don't just tell them tell Peter too bring them on back go get it I don't know them. So, are you kidding me it's like just, what it's not just for us he said tell Peter too he said tell Peter too tell Peter too I'm back Tell Peter yeah, to. Yeah. After he saw. Just imagine Jesus in, 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 in the court. <clears throat> He's being smitten. One of them, he was blindfolded. One came in. 
And then you say, no problem, sign, tell me who did that. Huh? Jesus is in there being smitten and being misused and abused, but yet he see his disciple. They say, you was with him. I don't know. You was with him. I don't know I did. You was with him. And the third time, the Bible said he cursed. He was vexed. Yes. I didn't know him. Cuss word. I don't know him. What's wrong with you? I wasn't with you. What? How many of I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. As in the spirit, so in the natural. How many of us, hallelujah, uh, you know, I thank God that nobody's never came to me saying, well, you, uh, yeah, you, 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 you would matter. You expect me to be like, no, nah, I don't know him? You expect me to, uh, yes, I'm with him. That's right. Yes. That's what the team man all day, every day. Yes. Hallelujah. God used this ministry to bring me out of my mess. Amen. And each and every Sunday and Wednesday, when the man of God preached the word, he gives us, he gives me what God has given him. And although, yes, I may get weary. Yes, we may get weary. But that does not mean that we turn away from it. That does not mean that we kick against the prick. Amen? Yes. So, John 14, John 14, John 14, 1. John 14, 1 through 6. I got it. Amen? Let your heart, let, your, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to pre prepare a place for you. And if ye, and, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Then where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know. And whether I go, ye know. And and whether I go, ye know, and the way. And ye know, and, wait a minute. And whether I go, ye know, and the way, ye know. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I am the way. Everything that Jesus taught his disciples, we take it and it is for our learning. Jesus is the way. And what comes to mind for me is I remember uh, when I first got saved, I was watching a lot of uh, uh, different things that people a lot of people to the church, and um, I was, I was. There was a clip in this one video that I was watching where uh, Oprah, she had a show, and uh, I don't know what the discussion was, but she said Jesus can't be the only way. Jesus, he can't be. He just can't be the only way. And she went on, went on, and there was a lady. If you ask me, she was full of Holy Ghost. She said no. She said. Jesus can't be the way. No, you say that. But the Bible says that Jesus is the way. He is the only way. You know, you have so many different people who are so-called high society and leading people slap to hell. You, how many millions of people watch the Oprah show every day when she was on? I know my mama did. Yeah, she watched them, and she and you know, but I was uh, I, I wasn't saying she ain't saying. How many people are listening to that mess that Jesus is not the only one? That Buddha or uh 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 Muhammad? No, Jesus is the only way. He's the only way. There is no other way. The Bible says if you come in any other way, that you're a thief and a robber. No. There is no other way. And sometimes, yes, people are going to get off of the path, but that doesn't mean that you have to stay out of the way. You can always be restored back to the right way. The right way. The old path. This is something that has stood the test of time. And if you go into any ministry and anybody is 
preaching anything other than this, that's the wrong ministry for you. You can't find a minister. Come to matter. You can't get to matter. Don't go to the wrong place. Get into this is it. Right here. This is it. All of us in here, I, I, I'm, I, all of us didn't, was it was everybody filled, filled with the Holy Ghost in the church? Or was some of us full, full of, did some of us receive the Holy Ghost outside the church? You know, from your tavern, amen, woman of God? Amen? Did we all get it right here? Or did we, uh, was some of us filled somewhere else? Was some of us seeking God in our prayer closet? That's not to say that you don't, that because the Bible says to say not the assembly together, but what I'm saying is that if you're not in the place that you need to be in, don't continue to go the wrong way. No, you need to find the right way. And the right way is right here in the word. Amen? Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 17. A few more scriptures and I'm going to get out of the way, y'all. I'm sorry. Did I say 17? I meant 7. 7 and verse number uh, verse uh, number 13. Amen? Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It says... Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Amen. 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 Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Broad is, is wide. That's right. That means that all of your mess, yeah. you can keep it and walk in that gate. Right. Right. All of your mess, yeah. you can keep your two shack dads, your two shack moms. Right. Right. You can keep it. It's plenty of room for all your mess. Right. But go on now. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way. Yes. Which leadeth unto life. Yes. And through there be that find it. So that means to get into the narrow gate, I got to shave some stuff off. I got to put some things down. I can't keep the marijuana joints going into the narrow gate. Narrow, you, you might have to turn sideways to get through that thing. You can't go with your with your with your sister who you talk mess with. You can't go with your brother who you chase the chase the women with. You got that thing now. It's tight. It's tight. It's tight. That way, the narrow way that leads unto life. It's tight, but it's right. Amen. It's tight. Holiness is tight, but it's right. You gonna get in that thing. I'm not the only one that sees that see what's going on. You got so many different ministries and preachers that are telling people, oh, you can keep your mess. Just say a sinner's prayer. That's a lie. The Bible will say, say a sinner's prayer. It doesn't. The Bible will say repent. And as you repent, that thing starts to, they, 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 hey, you start to fit in that thing. You start to fit in that thing when you repent of that drinking, when you repent of that whole mother, when you repent of all that mess. You can get through that thing. Hallelujah. You know, you can't keep that bag. You, you, you got to put that, you got to put that mess down. You got to put it down. Hallelujah. I know when I got saved, a friend of mine died, and I went to the funeral, and my friends was there, and they said, oh, we're going to the club after this. Well, you ought to come over and uh, come fellowship with us. And from the look on my face, he, uh, I, I still remember he looked at me and he said, you ain't coming. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That thing narrow. Yeah. And I can't go and I can't be up in no club. Come on, come on. I don't care if we are grieving. Come on. Huh? Come on. And while I'm here, I'm going to get it. Talk about the funerals. How many preachers sit up and lie? How many preachers sit up and lie? And preach somebody into heaven that, that, that may not be in heaven. But you don't have to go where that person went. If you get back on the right path, you don't have to stay in the wrong way. Repent. 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 God is calling somebody back to repent. You can't stay in it. You can't stay in it. I'm sorry, Pastor. I'm sorry. You cannot go the way that you've been going. Come on. That's right. 
and still when God takes back the breath that he's given you. It comes, what comes to mind all those people that went and they said I'm going to see my favorite rapper. My favorite rapper. And as they rush the, 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 the stage, all those young people, one of them, ten, nine years old, yes. they became so, they, they, they were rushing them so that they, they were asphyxiating. Yes. And as that last breath oh, left their bodies. Do you know? Do you know that you know that you know? That you're going to stand before God in peace? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? God is calling somebody tonight back close to the old path. He said, don't keep on going in the way that you're going. Don't continue to do the things that you're doing. He said, come back to the old path. He said, come back to the old path. They rush the stage. And people, oh, my God, I, I'm not God. I don't judge them. I don't, I, but hey, did you know that she was going into this place to listen to this ungodly and just awful music? As the performer stood on stage. I told you, I'm Holy Ghost knows it. And I found on the internet where he told me. He said, I'm going to hell. And you going to. It's too late. You here. I got you. Young people, you don't have to go in that path. You don't have to. Do you hear? Do you hear what the Holy Ghost said? He said, I'm going to hell. Jesus. Yes, I'm going to hell. You going to. Because you're here and it's too late now. It's too late now. As I heard that, I said to myself, I said, Lord, the crowd is steadily running to him. Even I, I like to think that even in my mess, but I probably would have been one of them too. But I like to think in my mess that they would have seen folks flying everywhere. <laughs> what? He said, we're going to hell. I don't have to continue on this path. The stampede ain't going to be too. It's going to be froze. Moron, anyway. It's an oxymoron. Right. No. Hey. Holy? He said, put a difference between the holy and the profane. That's, right. That's not holy. That's, not holy. That's profane. That's, right. That's profane. That's right. He said, narrow is the gate that leadeth unto life. Amen? Amen? Narrow. Let's go and see what Paul has to say about it in 2 Timothy. Second Timothy. Everybody all right? Amen. We almost done. Amen. Amen. It's starting to smell that good food. Amen. I know I ain't the only one that smell it. I smell it. Amen. Amen. Let's get full on this word though. Let's see what Paul got to say about it. You know. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things, y'all, that if we are asleep. If we are asleep at the wheel, you know, you can easily, it, you know, a person that backslides, you don't just 
Be in church speaking in tongues, and the next day you backslid. Right. It don't happen that way. It, it, amen. Say it again. Amen. And it's it's a slow, progressive walk. That little bit of leaven that we wouldn't deal with. That little bit that we kind of, you know, it's like going to the movies and you got the. It, it, it ain't, but it is, because I do this. I go to the movie, I tell my wife, make sure you got that big purse. You know? Make sure you got that big purse. Get some milk done, some juju beans, and all this stuff on the way. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's kind of like that, though. You know? You, you, we, we, in this walk with Christ, you, you can't put, you can't put all that stuff in the bag. You gotta put down the big purse. Get you on a little bit of it. I'm talking about one of the things. It just fit up under your, you know, it just, that's all you need. Holiness. 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 Ain't no smoking no reefer in here. Ain't no fornication in here. Ain't no, uh-uh. Holiness. What's that man? Jesus. Jesus. That's the Jesus. 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 That's it. Hallelujah. Uh, what? No. Ain't no fornicating in here, ain't no clutter. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. I got Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. That's it. Man, look, that's all it is. That's all I feel like. Jesus. That's all you need. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. No, you don't need. Get rid of that big purse. Get rid of that big purse. Get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't need all that stuff. Get rid of it. Get rid of the man I want to smoke. Get rid of the fornicator. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of the dog. Get rid of it. Jesus. Get out of there. Jesus. 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 I got Jesus on my mind. I got Jesus on my mind. When you see me coming. When you see me go. Jesus on my mind, I got him 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 on my mind, I got Jesus on my mind. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. Jesus plus nothing. 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 That's all you need right there. Amen. That's it. Amen. You got kick that. people grab chill, they graduated high school. Going on, DJ, going to the name. G, take Jesus DJ. That's right. That's it. Take Jesus DJ. That's right. Graduating high school, take Jesus. Take Jesus. That's, right. That's, right. That's all you need. Take Jesus. Amen. Take Jesus with that diploma. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. It'll be a shame for any young person. It'll be a crime almost to sit up under this kind of teaching from our man of God, from the woman of God and to leave here and to go to hell. It's the truth. It's the truth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's see what Paul got to say about this. And I'm going to get out of the way. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4. I got it. Amen. He says, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead and his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant. In season and out of season. He said, preach the word. That don't, that don't mean just for preachers. Yes, he's talking to a preacher. Right. But if you, as a young person, you were raised up in the truth, you preaching as you live the lifestyle that you've been taught. Right. Your lifestyle is preaching. Right. Your attitude is preaching. Right. The way you dress is preaching. Right. Amen. 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 He said, reprove, rebuke, and exalt with all on safe with suffering and Doctrine. And doctrine. And doctrine. Yes. Doctrine is that's the that's the teaching. 
That's the teaching that we receive. Hallelujah. We believe that you must repent. That is our doctrine. You must repent. Amen. He said, with doctrine. For the time shall, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Huh? Do we not see? I'm talking about you can see this each day. You ain't got to walk far. You ain't got to walk far. You don't have to go far. That they're not enduring. But after their own, after their own lust, shall he to themselves teachers. Bishop fill me up. Deacon want to smoke cigarettes. Minister fornicating in the uh, choir. Heaping them up after their own lust. After their own lust, it was something in them that they didn't deal with. It was their own lust. Do you hear me? Huh? Help me, help me. And, 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 and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of the, of the ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at, is at hand. For I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. When the time comes, Lord willing, I'll be here a long time. I'm believing God that he's going to keep me here to see many different things. But when the time comes that God takes back what he has given me, I want to be able to say that I finished my course. I want to say that I've done what God has called me to do. Amen. Amen. To preach the truth. I want to say that I have finished my course. Amen. Amen. Can you? Can we all? Can we all say that? Amen. Amen. Now that we get off, now that we get off the old path. Amen. 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 Second Peter. Second Peter 2, 2 and 20. And it says, For after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it says, They are again entangled therein. They are again entangled therein. There is only one way. There's only one path. There's only one Savior. Yes. Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah, uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 35 and 8, it says, and there shall be a way. Yeah. A highway. Come on, come on. There shall be a way. Not many ways. On, one way. On. A highway. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. On. One. Yeah. A highway, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. 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 Amen? But it says, they, after they had escaped, that they are in, again entangled. Entangled and overcome. The latter is worse with them than the beginning. It says, for it had been better for them to have not known the way. For it had been better for them to have not known the way than after they had known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog has turned to his own vomit again. And so that was washed to her wallow in the mind. To sit upon this teaching that is biblically, biblically sound. It is from the Bible. And to find yourself, that's like myself. I, I found a way. I walked in and God delivered me. But yet, after I had escaped, that I was again entangled. Why? Because number one, my mind my mind 
was not holy on God. As I was going to church, as I was ministering this and ministering that, my mind, hallelujah, if you're out in the world and you're ministering and you're doing this and you're doing that, but your eyes, hallelujah, your heart, hallelujah, is not in the right place, you're going to be again entangled. And it's worse for those to have known the way and to turn again. They said it was better to have not known. To have not known the way. It's better for a sinner. Therefore, somebody who sat up in here, been full of the Holy Ghost, feel, tongue talking, Holy Ghost feel, then to have known it and then to have turned away. The word tonight was that it's a time for a change in the body of Christ. Let's go back to the old past. Back into the hands of Pope.